Hi everyone, Paolo here again from just another dang how to channel. So this is a follow up tutorial on my how to set up Salesforce customer community. So on this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to brand your Salesforce community and how to set up the topics on community. So what I have now is the basic out of the box layout once you set up community. So it's pretty bare and let's try to spice it up a little. So on my other tab, what I have is the setup page. So from here, just go to communities. And launch your community workspace. and let's configure the branding first so launch the builder Anytime now. All right, so this is the community builder. It's a uh, WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Uh, you could configure almost every comp every sections here. So it's made up of components. Uh, we'll do we'll that later on a separate tutorial, but for this one. On your left side are some setup configurations. So if you jump into branding, uh, you'll get this section for changing the attributes of the branding. So on the color section, you could pick colors that you want for the default look and feel theme. Or you could upload your own image. If you click this guy, yep, it's, yep, there you go. So if you click that and you select, you upload an image, you will try to create a palette out of that image. So let me try that. If I click upload, and jump right here. I have a logo. Yep, once that's done, that logo will be a palette that I could select. And of course, you could individually change each color setting from here. So you have the text color, detail color, link color. Um, under images, this is where you set up your logo. So you click on this upload link and select this. Mm, I'll try and upload this logo. And for the header image, which is this gray section over here, you can just simply click that and let's say upload another image. I'll go to my desktop and I upload my screenshot of my desktop. And it should load there. Just waiting for it to load here. Okay. And you can change the font as well. So you could change it to Comic Sans. And I'm just waiting for it to load. Maybe if I close this, it will be more responsive. 
share C. Uh, so the font has changed. So once you did this, you just need to publish it. Right now, the community is not yet active. So I'm still on editing mode. Any changes you, you do, if you wanted to reflect on the community, you need to publish it. So if I go back to my first tab and refresh, it should show the new branding now. So that's how it looks. Um, I also have Safari open so I could show you that this is responsive on any mobile device. So if I jump to an iPad Pro and I refresh this, Uh, this is how it looks like on the iPad Pro. If you jump into your phone, this is how it would look like. So as you can see, the Napoli template by itself is very responsive. There you go. And that's how you set up the branding. And let's jump into configuring the topics. So if I jump back to my uh, community workspaces I have here content targeting so open this guy and from here you could add some topics you want as default so let me put men's apparel as the first one apparel how do you spell it? apparel Single T, double T, double T, and create. Uh, create a new one, and I call it Women's Apparel. And so that would be the topics for the community. I want it to appear under featured topic which is the section here. So if I go back there and I say then apparel should auto complete for what's already there and I say women's apparel click on that and if you want to add a thumbnail Click on that pencil icon and click on upload thumbnail. From here, let me go back there and upload this image that I have. Close. Do the same for women. Open that. And save. Now, if I go back to the template, refresh, you can see these are the topics that will be created and they have their own header image on them. So if you click on this one, And click ask a question, you could directly post to this uh, topic. Uh, let's do that now. And when is spring collection coming? And click on S. And that post should appear here. So basically, that's it. Uh, quick and easy way to customize the branding and set up the topics.
Uh, additional thing you could add is if you want to add navigation topics here, you could go back here and click on navigational topics and you could put back man uh, let's say products or create a navigation topic called products and click on save this settings are if you have articles enabled knowledge enabled you could assign this topic to that um, article with that data category but that's for a future tutorial I'll set that up for on our next video tutorial so if I go back here and refresh Uh, clicking on this should show me the new navigational topic uh, that's it hope you like it so if you like more Salesforce tips and tutorial please subscribe to my YouTube channel